firstly I want to just tell you two three things I Susanna thanks for joining us uh, about the gelatin you use the gelatin in desserts and for different things for mousse cakes and all that but here I'm going to use is as an art uh, I am a sugar artist and uh, I have been into this cake field for like 10 to 11 years first I used to take orders but now I only teach now uh, I give online classes as well and due to this pandemic uh, just to keep things going I'm concentrating on giving online classes more so it's easy for everyone to stay at home but to learn as the learning process goes on uh, it's never that you have you decide or you think that you have learned everything and you are perfect in everything no it's not like that because uh, learning process goes on and uh, it never ends so if there are something I am going to tell you maybe you already know or maybe you get to know a new thing so keeping that in mind you should always keep on learning so for the gelatin uh, here I am using but for every one by four cup I am using two tablespoons the reason why maybe it sounds to you that it's too much gelatin but the reason behind it is that if you want something uh, uh, like in quicker way you want to make decorations and you want them to dry early so you have to increase the quantity of the gelatin so it makes the layers and uh, it quicks it quickly dries out it highly depends on the weather on your uh, the climate and the weather on that particular day even in your uh, the uh, the weather condition even in your house it highly depends how things get dry earlier usually gelatin needs and uh, every decoration of gelatin needs 24 hours to dry because there is no other way just to air dry them or you can put it under the fan or in front of the AC but other than that there is no other option to make them dry earlier so here I am not making any dessert, I am not using gelatin for any purpose like this. I am using it as an art. As I told you, I have been into art since my childhood and uh, I use every kind of medium to uh, and transform it into sugar art. So I, it's fun for me, I enjoy a lot, I enjoy my work. Here I am using for every 1 by 4 cup 2 tablespoon gelatin and if you are using sheet so you can convert that uh, every tablespoon for every tablespoon you have to use 4 sheets of gelatin. Okay here I am using uh, as I told you uh, high stiffening uh, as I told you that I am using high sobia I am using uh, uh, two tablespoons for every cup so uh, if you have luxury of time you can wait uh, then you can use hot, one tablespoon for every uh, one by four cup it's okay it will work but maybe you have to do uh, two or three coatings on the decoration you are making uh, so it depends on the work you are doing and if you are using a high bloom gelatin that's good but it doesn't matter and uh, some uh, companies don't mention how much bloom is uh, the gelatin is like Nox gelatin is 225 bloom some uh, sell at 200 bloom but you don't know unless and until you try it so you have to uh, give trial uh, and uh, 
give it just try it and then you will come to know that how much bloom is the gelatin or how much uh, strong the gelatin is okay in front of you you can see there are different uh, you can say molds these are the lace molds so the gelatin can be used in almost every possible way that's why i wanted to show you like the butterflies in this lace i have just painted it with the gelatin same you can do with small butterflies if you need small butterflies and this is also a lace mold you can use it on these small these are just for example i wanted to show you okay okay uh, here are some impression mats these are made of plastic and i got them very cheap on a very cheap price uh, when i was buying i didn't have any idea of how i will use or for what purpose i will use but when i started doing gelatin art then i found it very interesting like you can uh, paint the gelatin on this whole sheet and then when you remove it you can uh, just place it around your cake and uh, i have shown in my youtube video how uh, you can just wrap it around your cake you have to use hair dryer uh, hot gun is very hot for this purpose it can melt or scorch your gelatin so hair dryer is the best option uh, it will just warm the sheet and and that time it becomes softer and at the same time you have to just just put it around your cake and it will stick there if uh, and obviously it will be used on fondant covered cake and when you will warm your cake with the hair dryer so the fondant will get hot as well and it will be a bit sticky it will be easy for you to stick your gelatin sheet on that so i'll put it aside i'll show you just see how easy it is to peel it off okay and one thing you have to push your mold down you don't have to pull the your decoration up otherwise it will tear so here are the two sides of the butterfly and you can make body in the center and you can just make it like this and i did this like two hours ago and because my gelatin uh, consistency is thicker heavier that's why it dried quicker otherwise if you uh, if you have time you can use one tablespoon gelatin for every one by four cup and but you have to wait for a longer time and sometimes you have to coat two to three times like it is very stiff and it can hold its own shape when you put it on the uh, on the center body of making it out of fondant or gum base and then stick it there so you can make it very easily okay here is another one this is actually used for the uh, this is also plastic one i have shown you the sheets uh, this is specially for the cupcakes you can make a center of the cupcake make this decoration you can put it on the fondant press it uh, forcefully and then it leaves an impression there i have used it for that purpose as well but here just see how beautiful it looks especially against the white background okay i will show you how i achieved this complete one because if you see uh, there is a gap between the petals and the center but i will uh, paint it in front of you i will make one and you will see that how we have got this one and the same way i will just uh, peel it off in front of you maybe you can hear the sound of snapping it just push this down and the gelatin sheet will itself remove and uh, some 
sometimes you are working on like you can work on your tabletop and uh, you just um, spread your clean sheet and you can work on that and another option is this I will show you uh, this is uh, very old now but I use it because it's very easy if you have to uh, make a big butterfly like this you can easily but this is actually the soft cutting board I got it from Ikea and uh, you can just put your template down and you can work on that so I use this one and when the your decoration is dry the good thing about this is the vendor decoration is dry it itself removes it, it from the cutting board and you don't have to peel it off okay I'll show you later when I start painting okay and here is the butterfly I have made you can see it can stand on its own because it is dry now and one thing I want to tell you about the gelatin as I told you that it removes itself from the board you have worked on or the plastic wrap you have worked on it and then leave it there it will itself get off don't force it to get off or don't push it hard uh, the reason is that it can snap easily it's fragile and if you will remove it and it's still in drying process it is very soft so it will work and uh, its shape uh, will not be good and you can see now that it was completely dry when I removed it I painted each and every part separately like for the yellow part I painted it and then let it dry a bit so it when I will use the red color it won't mix in the yellow one and for the consistency I use it helps me to make things dry quicker so this is uh, we are going to make today okay and uh, for this as I was making everything preparing to show you so I just removed it earlier that's why I have put these two wires or you can while making you can put the wires so you can easily adjust it and uh, it won't go anywhere but now I have fixed a wire with a little bit of gelatin it worked as a glue and then I just This is the one I use the sheet like this. You can see the embossed part is showing and how beautiful it looks. You can make the full sheet and then wrap it around your cake. You can see that against the white background. Okay. Okay, then comes the sit part. I just I'm just going through the things we are going to make today. Uh, but I am just showing you everything I hope everything is good you can see me properly okay this is the sale uh, I have made earlier one this one and I put the wire in this I forgot to put the wire but you can put later it doesn't matter and this is you can see the difference I'll show you against white background uh, between this and this it's so light because I use one tablespoon in water it is so light and uh, it is so thin uh, hi Sumera can you hear me now okay and this one is two tablespoon that's why it is thick stiff and you can hear when it falls down so it's highly up to you if you want something very filmsy delicate you can go high Linda you can go for uh, this consistency and uh, if you want a thicker one stiffer one so you will go for the consistency I'm telling you two tablespoons for each one by four cup
Okay. Uh, this is something I made with uh, another decoration. It can be for the top of the cake, if you can see it properly. Okay, th this I made with the balloon and we will make one now. I will remove it in front of you when it you feel like it, it, it is dried enough that it can hold its shape. So you just clip them. For this you have to use a silicone mat or a sulfide mat. Hi Fatima. Uh, no, no worries you can see it later because it will be uh, in my on my page. It will stay there. Okay so the thing I was telling you uh, this is the silicone baking mat but you can use it to make sails like you make sails out of isomol the same procedure is here and you can use sulfate mat but this mat is more flexible and easy to use so when you feel that it can stay now it won't uh, like flow down from anywhere so you clip it at different angles as you like and then let it dry completely I am being very careful because as I told you it's fragile I am just pushing it down with my finger I am not pushing it up at all just pushing the mat down so here it comes so it's so hard because uh, of the consistency that without wire you can just make it stand on the fondant or on the sides of the cake as well so I use the watercolor effect that I'll show you today how to make this decoration and one more thing I made some kala lilies, uh, I'll show you how with the same gelatin and this is the balloon decoration. Uh, I made it today in the morning uh, and now it is stiff enough. I will take it uh, near to the mic and I will just snap, just click it. I think you can hear the sound, it's hard enough now. So I can pop the uh, balloon and I will show you how to just, oops. If somehow I go off the screen, please let me know because uh, I can see the comments in my in front of me. So it's also a bit tricky part to remove the balloon. Actually, I made it today, so maybe it's not at some part, it's not hard enough, that's why it is sticking to the balloon. And one more thing you can do is you can rub your balloon with a little bit, only a little bit, a thin layer of shortening and then you can start coating your balloon and this this uh, this decoration takes a bit longer time because uh, 
Sometimes you need a lot many coats. Oops. So I think I should start making because this is a process it will take a long time to just remove it. I will put it aside sometimes the balloon start getting off itself so I think I will start doing the work and this is a process how you will remove the other room but it takes a very long time definitely still I am detaching it I'll put it aside and hopefully it will come off itself so this is the shape of the decoration and you can put it on the top of your cake or you can put something like flowers or something and then you can put it on the top of the cake so it's your preference this one was a very thin coating that's why it's filmsy and this was a thick coating and uh, i did it by putting the balloon upside down and the, it just flowed from all sides okay and this is again the sheet for the bark effect and if you are in a hurry you have to give this effect you can use this technique as well okay okay there are bubbles i'll show you how to get rid of them uh, on this sheet it was a bit difficult to remove the bubbles but on a silpat mat or on a silicone mat you can remove the bubbles easily or you can see it clearly like against the white background it's more clear now so if this is the color the darker shade and on the base is light so it will show uh, or the other way around just to you can make like the panels and then you can put it around your cake like you make a wooden effect or fans or something like that okay i have also used this vinyl it's very thick uh, but you don't go for such a thicker one because sometimes it's very hard to remove it from the from this sheet you have to be very careful so what i did i just put the templates down there and and i started working on that i will show you and this is also another butterfly and this is the flower I got it's still very soft so I'll show you how to make it uh, in this shape this one we'll be using our hair dryer for this purpose and this is the leaf I'll show you what I've made already this one when it is still soft you can bend the wire and you will be using 24 gauge wire for this and uh, when it is still soft you can bend the wire in any shape you like so these are the leaves for the kala lily this one I made by using these winner I just painted uh, on this and let it dry completely and it comes off easily from this so if you want to make something like you want to uh, 
you have time or you have more winners so you can make your leads like this as well so this is just the ideas i'm showing you and now first uh, somebody asked me that the gelatin does not set so how do i set my gelatin so first we will make the gelatin i'll show you how to make it and then we will start along So here is one by four cup cold water. I took out from the fridge, and I will use two tablespoon of gelatin. You don't have to dump the whole tablespoon in one go. Hi, Kyla, and you have to just sprinkle it on the surface of the water. You have to be slow in that. Okay. And this is the second tablespoon. Again, if you are not in a hurry, you have luxury of time. You can use only one tablespoon or whatever you find suitable I am just soaking the dry parts there shouldn't be any dry part okay and um, there is a little cheat that I do when I'm in hurry uh, like if it's hot nowadays if you leave it on your tabletop or in your kitchen it's warm enough so it will take a long time to set so uh, what I do I just pop it in the fridge So this step I do every time if, if I need to make something quickly. Okay, so we will start. This is now, uh, it, it's on room temperature, but it's a bit thicker now. So I will first try if it's okay, otherwise I will just microwave it for 5 seconds. Green is a bit thicker, so I will just drop it into the brighter colors so you can see it properly the whole procedure okay. 
I hope you are listening. You can hear me. You have to just follow the template. If you if your line goes out, it doesn't matter because you can clip it easily with the scissors so it's thick enough it will make it layer quickly sometimes when you are done you have painted the whole thing and uh, you come back to it at some places it has gone off doesn't matter you come again and you do another coating just keep in mind that there should shouldn't be any streaks if you find that it is getting thicker just pop it again into the microwave for 5 seconds and you start dabbing it like this instead of moving your brush around for the butterfly I think I should move it here so you can see it properly. I think I will be using this smaller brush. For the butterfly part. As you are using three colors, so you have to be uh, very careful. So one color does not get mixed with the other. If this happens, you just clean your brush and then take it away to the part where it belongs to. Here also. Especially uh, using yellow, red and they can get easily mixed. So you have to be careful. Let one color dry or make a coat completely. Then you have to use the other color. You have to just fill in according to the template just keep an eye that it does not come off from any area Kindly let me know if you can see me and you can hear me properly. Hi Risha, thanks for joining. Those who are late, don't worry. 
the live video will stay on my page. So you just have to follow the route. Okay, no problem. I will fill this good video as well. When it's all dry, it's done. Before removing it from the place, from its place, or before you feel it's going to start coming off, uh, just go around the, these lines with the food color marker, edible marker, as here I have used this black one. You can see how bright colors it shows in gelatin and these are all, this is the edible marker and if any of these sides are not, uh, you can say, uh, in a good shape, you can always cut it. Okay, so the yellow color is getting thicker now. Uh, so. I will just you fill this one the green here and then I'll come back to my butterfly and do the next color okay I need to just showing it is uh, small or it's okay so I can turn it around so you can see properly or you are okay with this one if you understand what I mean like if it's in portrait or you want to make it to change to landscape just let me know maybe like this this is okay or the first one was okay okay I'll try my best to speak louder Now it's okay or the earlier picture was okay? Okay, in the meanwhile, I will just start painting the leaf without wasting time. Oh, it's the same way both sides. but it has gone other way around so it's better to just sorry just bear with me i just want you to show you things all things clearly
This is 22 gauge buyer. I will put it here and just to fix it on that. Okay. I will just draw yellow color on that. It will make its way and like in the midrib, it's yellow. So I will leave it like this. And when it is dry, you use your green food color and you go on these veins like actually green this one before removing it I just went on the lines and then I removed it okay now I will use my red color I need to be very careful while touching the yellow part. First, I will coat it just being away from yellow color so they don't mix together because uh, yellow one has made its own layer and to some extent it has dried up, but the red one is just warm so it can melt the yellow one and the colors can mix there are chances that they can mix together so to avoid that I have to be very careful I have I'm just dabbing it if you see I'm not brushing or putting strokes I'm just dabbing it but you have to be very careful there shouldn't be any gap in between the colors otherwise when your decoration is dry like in this case the butterfly is dry completely when you will just uh, put it away or it comes off itself it will be in parts the yellow part will be separate and the red part will be separate so there will, there will be no way to join them together as it's a flat sheet so you have to be careful about this just keep an eye on that I hope you can hear me now.
properly I'm trying to be as loud as possible Stay safe, stay positive, that's what I can say in this situation and this is a good thing that you can share your uh, knowledge with your colleagues, with your co-workers because we are all equal and we can learn from each other our and we can share our knowledge as well so in this time we should utilize our productivity as much as possible just think of the ways any medium can be used and uh, like gelatin I smoked with a paper how differently you can do it and you can show it to others or you can share your knowledge with others so our red part is also complete now and uh, I will wait because here it's very close to the red part if I'll apply the blue color now it will get mixed with the red and it will become purple Okay, so meanwhile, I will just put it aside. You can do some other tasks. I think we can do our balloon part first and then we can complete our coloring flower. For that, we need a one balloon and one skewer and or and one uh, you can say uh, dummy styrofoam where we can place our balloon okay i'm just putting this sheet down so the excess can fall on this instead of Spoiling my tabletop. the red gelatin I have taken it in a bit bigger bowl so I can dip my balloon okay I have blown it enough and when I am going to put a knot at that time you have to put your skewer in there and then you tightly bind it okay so here is my this is the silicone brush the common pastry brush hi Heba hi Sabia hi Aesel hi Iram thank you everyone for joining uh, if I miss any uh, name please forgive me for that okay so where were we uh, this is the simple common pastry brush and that everybody might have at your home so uh, for these big decorations I use this and if there is anything bigger a flat even 
when I make my sheets, bigger sheets, then I use this brush. So what I'll do, I will just dip it. As you can see from the sides, the gelatin is raised. Okay. And by the time I coat it enough, it will become very heavy. I hope you can see properly. I have used the yellow color balloon so I can see the layer of the gelatin. This is the same that I made and I have shown you. I did not rub the Crisco but if you find it easier to remove your balloon later with the Crisco on then please first coat your balloon with the Crisco as you can see uh, because of the consistency of the gelatin it has already made one coat and on the yellow color you can see it properly so I, I will just keep on going around like this until I feel that now it's thick enough and your balloon's weight will increase by the time you are done. If you use here for this decoration, if you use one tablespoon of gelatin then you have to do a lot many coats as you can see there is some thicker part here you can remove it and even you can cut it later with the scissors i think i need to uh, microwave my gelatin before continuing with more coatings because it's getting thicker quickly I will remove this with the scissors later it doesn't matter it's a little bit messy but the end result is good so there is no harm in being messy for some time okay getting very thick now so what I'm gonna do I'm going to just fix it here the excess gelatin will fall on the cling wrap oops, oops there we go okay so I will just microwave my You can remove the excess with the scissors. So when you feel that it's getting very thick, you need to microwave it and then start working with it again. You can make bigger basket like with like this, like you blow your balloon bigger and then you start coating it with the gelatin and you coat enough that it is stiff and can hold like 
little fruits or the flowers you want to display in that so to me it's enough now going to hang it somewhere so it does not occupy our space okay this part is also done now I will return to my butterfly And then we will make the seal and the flower. Okay. So only one color was left. I will first mark it with the blue color. I can hear the snap of the balloon. It's coming off itself, the one I made earlier and I showed you that I'll put it away and sometimes it starts getting off itself and I can hear it lying down there and just getting off itself. It's good. By the time we finish our work, hopefully it gets off itself and we don't need to force it to come off okay like I told you the blue color is warm the yellow color is dry but when the warm color will touch the colder one it sometimes get mixed like over here it's giving the green tone but it's okay Just be careful, there shouldn't be any gap in between the colors. So, in the end, the when you peel it off or it comes off itself, it's in parts and it's of no use then. Here from here I can see that the color has come off and now here is dry part again so I will just go over that part. So we will put it aside and when it is completely dry, we will first go over it with the black uh, food color, edible marker, sorry. I'll just put it away and now we will make our seal. For the seal, I'll be needing the transparent one. I did not mix any color into that because I want it to show the watercolor effect. Till 
it's melting, I look at the other way. So we will work on the silpat map so I can easily show you how to get rid of the bubbles as well. I will just pour it on there. Spread it around. At this time, you can put the wires, but uh, it's better to attach the wires later because it can be a hurdle when you are clipping them, uh, clipping this sail or your decoration. So in the end, when it's all dried and done, you can just take some melted gelatin and fix the wire with that. It would work as a glue. Okay. So I will grab my colors now and I will show you how to give watercolor effect to that. I'm using four of my colors here. So I will just I will use first these colors so I will try them out quickly before they again get thickened. Here I am using these droppers, they come in a pack, I think 20, and you just fill your dropper with the color and just Okay, here is the thing I wanted to show you. Uh, maybe I take it down. Uh, yes, Heba, I am using for every 1 by 4 cup, I am using 2 tablespoons of the gelatin. If you are using sheet, you will be using 8 sheets of the gelatin. Uh, but it's highly up to you if you have luxury of time if you have enough time to wait for the decorations to dry you can use one tablespoon for every one by four cup okay so here you can see the bubble just take your torch and pop it just like you're working with the isomol So don't worry about the bubbles, especially if you are using the silpat mat. Again, just pop the bubbles. For the next color, the same process. Just Drop the colors here and there. Here we have water bubbles.
can mix one color with the other one. Last one is our green color. I will take my torch. I will pop the color uh, bubble, sorry, and I will just go around. You can see. So the colors move around, move around as well. This area was a bit empty, so I'm just popping some color here. You can see this part. This is the watercolor effect. Just go around, keep on going till you're happy with the effect and just leave it there. Okay, I'm happy with this and I'll put it aside and uh, the same thing I told you when you feel that if you will just clip it, just hold it like this and clip it like this. Uh, right now you can do this but when it reaches a point that you clip it from somewhere and it does not flow around then at that time you clip it and then you leave it to dry completely so I will just put it aside and we will Okay, first I'll prepare the pen. I'm using 22 gauge wire for that. So 
this is 18 gauge wire. in the glue its stamen is pointed from the top and thicker down below It should be like almost the halfway so it can show when we wrap the petal around. Okay, so now I will coat it with the glue and this is Samarina that I have colored yellow and I will just coat it all around the stamen. Like this, our stamen, stamen is ready. This is going to be the petal and here is the air dryer that will help us fold it. First I will cut the rough edges with the scissors. You have to be very careful, like it can snap any time. So, like this, I will lay it on the table, and you can see, just with the heat, I'm slowly holding it in. just to fix it and if the glue does not work you can use the yellow melted gelatin instead it has broken from here because I wasn't being very careful but you have to be very careful now it's done with a little glue it has worked it apart so now I will put the stamen. Okay, I will try to close this part.
this is how you can make other flowers as well whatever comes to your mind any idea so here is the kala lily flower I will put it on the side to let it dry completely before it holds its shape like these ones these are old ones that's why they don't look so in shape this is the balloon that has started coming up and it itself will come off you know you don't need to force it so just let it sit there it's almost of the gelatin I will warm it to give it shape. When it gets softer, it becomes softer. So when it is soft, you can mold it accordingly. You can see from here it's a little bit off. So I will. This is how you can shape it accordingly. of the things we learned today oh i forgot to show you this one okay i'll show you and then we can go off
for this, uh, the impose part will be up and you have to fill this part. Before filling the petals, I will just go around this circle. So later when I will fill the circle, there is no gap between the petals and the circle. Now I will start filling the petals because I am done with the outline. Then comes the green color. Just dab it in the center. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have learned something new. And do tell me in the comments. I'll be glad to know if you have learned something new and it was helpful for you to join me. And if you want to learn something else, like anything in wafer paper or uh, iso molds, we can have another session for that. So for now. This is all and thanks for joining once again. See you next time. Bye. And in the end I would say stay safe, stay healthy, stay home and thanks for joining me. Thanks for taking out your time and uh, watching my demo. Thanks a lot. And uh, there is my class also on the gelatin art, the wedding cake. I have made everything with the gelatin, the flower, the sheets around every tier. Uh, you must might have seen or you can check it now on my page. And the cake topper and the edible fabric, everything I have used gelatin to decorate it. You will really enjoy it to join that course and if you wish to please inbox me for the details and uh, for now thank you bye bye